use the graph of each functions so each function to find the value and the limiting value if they exist okay now what does it mean now this is a graph and you want to find the limits at these numbers so I have taken this question from page 119 question 255 so let's read the first question the question is what's the limit when x approach is negative 1 okay so let me write it's very small what's the limit when x approaches negative 1 of the function of f of x so here basically you want to find what's the value of y when x approaches negative 1 so look at negative 1 so when you're finding limit of a function at any value you're looking what is that uh, y value approaching from both sides so it's from the left and from the right so well this graph tells me the function is approaching 1 from the left and right there is a this is a whole the function is not defined at negative 1 okay so these are two contradictory things the function is not defined at negative 1 and that's why there's a whole but as x approaches negative 1 1 from both sides the value of the function is going to approach 1 from both sides so we say the limit is 1 the limit is 1 but if suppose if the question is what is f of what is f of negative 1 the graph tells me f of negative 1 is 3 the function is defined at 1 the value of the function is this is the value of the function f of negative 1 is 3 means when x is negative 1 the value of the function is 3 but the limit is 1 yeah okay so these are technical things that you need to understand okay now here the question is what's the limit what's the limit when x approaches 1 of f of x so well when x is approaching 1 from both sides from left it's approaching infinity and from right also it is approaching infinity okay so we can say it is approaching the value of the function is positive infinity okay now the next question is what is the function or what is the limit of the function what's the limit when x approaches 3 of f of x so here it's interesting so when from the left if you look at the graph it's approaching 3 from the left it's approaching 3 and from the right it's approaching sorry from the left it's approaching 0 from the left it is sorry yes sorry yeah <laughs> I'm getting confused now sorry from the left when x is approaching 3 your y is approaching 0 your y is approaching 0 so this is approaching 0 and from the right when x is approaching 3 from the right your y is approaching 3 so here as it's approaching two different numbers we say it's undefined or no limit we can say there is no limit or it is not defined you can't say what's the limit of the function and finally what's the limit what's the limit when x is approaching 6 of the function so always look to the left and right from left and right from left and right it's approaching which value of y well it's approaching 1 so the limit is 1 again let me tell you the function is not defined at 6 and there is no value of y when x is 6 because in this case there is a value of y when x is x is negative 1 here the function is not at all defined at 6 because there is a hole there so the function is not defined at 6 but the limit when x approaches 6 is 1 because from both sides they're approaching 1 okay let me look at one more question you can pause this video and try to do this this is the next question on the same page so now I'll go faster so here the question is what's the limit 
when x is approaching negative 2. I'll write it for those who can't see. When x is approaching negative 2, what's the limit? f of x. Okay, so here the limit from both sides, you can see negative 2, it's approaching 2, so the limit is 2. What's the limit when x is approaching 0 here? This is the limit when x approaches 0. What's happening to the value of y? That's basically the question. Okay, well, from both sides, when x is approaching 0, y is also approaching 0. So the limit is 0. Now at 3, at what's the limit? So this is the question is the limit when x is approaching 3 of f of x. So when x is approaching 3, what's happening? From both sides, if you look at it's approaching which value of y? It is negative 3, so it's negative 3. And finally, what's happening? What's the limit when x is approaching phi of the function? Okay, so when x is approaching phi from the left, from the left it's approaching, this is approaching positive infinity. And from the left it's approaching negative infinity. So this is basically you've got an asymptote at phi. So the function is not defined at phi. So you've got an asymptote at phi. So the function is not defined. And as the function is approaching positive and negative infinity, we say it is undefined. It is undefined or no limit.